keep thinking there's a difference. There's no difference. It's it's just four guys in a van. It's, it's it was four guys in a van 20 years ago. It's four guys in a van now. It's it's the same way it's always been. I, I'm not so sure that we should all be together in one place. <laughs> so in that respect, I think that like we all know what we are. But why we're all here is because we've played shows together. We know that everyone here isn't an asshole. Everyone here comes from the ethos of punk rock where we care about empathy and we care about humanity and we care about more than just ourselves. Every city around the world has a small group of punk rock kids who love the music, who love freedom and social justice and think that they can change the world in some way. If we know anything, it's that history is not made by presidents, it's not made by prime ministers or popes or any of that shit that is really exciting on the news right now. Uh, it's made by the people and we just got to remind ourselves that, that change is incremental and it takes a lot of time. <laughs> I don't frown upon or look down upon anyone who doesn't choose to speak to politics with their art, but I do think that if you call yourself a punk rocker, you should give a fuck about more than just yourselves. We're here because we're told on a daily basis that our pants aren't cool enough or we've got pimples and no one's gonna fuck us and you don't have the coolest piece of technology so your life is useless. Um, we don't need that happening in this world. This is our safe space, this is our solace from the barrage of imagery that tells us we're not good enough. I think that American Spring is part of the evolution of the band. I think that uh, uh, we did a lot of listening to our other records when we were writing American Spring and it's just another step forward for us. We kind of refocused on ourselves and said that there's a lot happening in the world. It's maybe a more arduous time to be alive than ever. And if we're not commenting on it, you know, who's going to? It's not a choice for us to be a political band. What we've learned over the years is that politics is definitely a fashion and comes and goes, uh, but for us it's what we do and uh, we don't have the luxury of changing and writing other stuff. Um, we do what we do and that's sort of, when you get anti-flag you know what you're going to get. I think that at its core it's the same when you go to the show and you, you meet the kid who is absolutely enthralled to be there. and care so much about their city and their scene and their community and it's just looking for more. I think that at its core that's still the same. You know that experience and that feeling is still the same. I, I mean we played our first ever headline show uh, in Thailand just two weeks ago and the feeling I felt when we got to the middle of a song and everyone sang it back it was the same thing as like 10, 12 years ago when somebody sang Die for the Government back at us for the first time and we were like, something fucked is going on. Like, like we've, we now know we're not alone. Yeah.